This is the Miracle Scanner from RevoPoint, a fully portable 3D scanner packed with features. Most traditional 3D scanners are tethered to a computer and a power source, making it extremely difficult to scan larger objects or scan things on the go. Not only does the Miracle do portable scanning thanks to its large internal battery, it also has the ability to edit the model locally on the device as well. It has a form factor that's similar to a large camera with a flip up touch screen and an array of sensors on the front of the unit. There's a power button on the right hand side along with a shutter release style button on the top right. On the other side is a single USB-C port for charging and transferring scans off the unit onto a computer. The UI is super clean and easy to understand. From the menu here, we can see our projects, which are basically subfolders that hold a series of scans. We can either add a scan to an existing project or start a new one. Before we start scanning intricate things, let's try scanning the included bust model. I set this up in seconds using the rotating turntable and the included small tripod. And here's the resulting scan. There's some missing geometry on some of the overhangs, so let's add another scan from a different angle to the project, which we can later combine to capture the missing geometry. To get this into our 3D print slicer, we can connect the scanner to our computer using the USB-C port and transfer our projects over using the RevoScan 5 software. From here, we can export it as a mesh and import it into our slicer. Here's the resulting 3D print of the scan, an almost identical copy of the scanned model. Of course, a matte white small object is the best case scenario for any scanner, so let's throw some more challenging things at it. While walking my dog along the beach the other day, I found this crab claw. Let's scan this and turn it into a headphone holder. First, I had to mount the claw to the turntable using some blue tack and a wood screw. Then I set up the scanner. From here, I use the continuous capture mode and let the claw slowly revolve. The Miraco scanner takes about 10 pictures per second, capturing both depth data and texture. After I was sure I had a perfect scan, I hit the one tap edit feature and let the Miraco scanner stitch the model together. During this process, it'll review the point cloud and discard any stray points that may have been captured on accident. There's also some smoothing happening here too. These settings can be fine-tuned manually, but I've found the default settings here have gotten some great results. After pulling this into the RevoScan 5 software, I exported it as a mesh model and opened it up in Mesh Mixer. I'm not super great at 3D sculpting, so I just did a little bit of smoothing here and added a hole so this can be screwed to the wall. Now we can export it as an STL and send it to the printer. Again, this one's printed in ABS, so I gave it a quick sand and some primer before doing my best to mimic the real world colors of the claw with some acrylic paint.
And here's the result. Now all I have to do is mount this to the wall and I have a lifelike crab claw to hold my headphones. How cool is that? I want to eventually print my own slides out of TPU, so I set up two thin blocks of clay. After standing on the clay for a while, I was left with a perfect mold of my feet. Now I can scan these in handheld mode and have a perfect fit for my foot. and check out the resulting scan, a perfect mold of my footprint. I also got my wife to scan my feet, and with both of these models in Fusion, I have all the data I need to make my own fully customized 3D printed slides. Super cool. The design portion of the rest of the slides is going to be quite involved, so I'll save that for a future video. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for what I should 3D scan next. Special thanks to RevoPoint for sending this scanner for me to check out. I'll leave a link to the RevoPoint Miraco 3D Scanners Kickstarter in the description. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing.